Welcome, in front of me is a Nubia Red Magic 8 Pro and today I will show you how you can enable and set up your portable hotspot. So, to get started, you want to pull down your notifications and then swipe down once again to extend the list of toggles. On one of the pages you should have a portable hotspot toggle or just hotspot as it's named right over here. And once you see this toggle you can first time hold it. This will quickly take you to the settings where you will be able to customize how it will function. So we're gonna start off by going into the... I believe more settings. Nope. Where is the password? Am I blind? Oh, there we go. I am blind. It's a little bit differently set than typically Androids are. So, and also I get kind of bamboozled by the Nokia 5.3. But anyway, and here we have the setup Wi-Fi hotspot. So we're gonna click on that. And the reason you want to go in here uh, and disregard the name being Nokia 3.5, clearly it's not. Um, is because the password for your hotspot will be randomly generated. I recommend selecting it and then completely getting rid of it because it's typically just bad to actually like type it in yourself. Uh, I'll be changing my password to something very simple, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, it needs to have at least eight characters in length, that's why. And from there, you can save it. Now, you can use letters, numbers, it doesn't really matter. Now another thing in here that can uh, change is the AP band. By default it's set to 2.4 but you can choose 5 GHz as well. Now that being said if you don't know what this setting does um, I'm gonna try to explain it and give you the best option. So for people that don't really understand this or don't know what that is I recommend keeping it at 2.4. It will be slower. Uh, not noticeably slower probably but when it's compared to 5 GHz Wi-Fi, it will be, uh, but it will give you the benefit of always functioning. So any device that has any kind of connectivity to Wi-Fi will be able to utilize the 2.4 Wi-Fi uh, band that you will be distributing with the hotspot. While the 5 GHz will be faster, it's not utilized by every device, specifically the older devices that didn't support it. It's basically a newer technology and uh, because older devices didn't even have access to it because it didn't exist at that time, they won't be able to connect to it. Now, if you still want to meddle around with this and just try to figure it out and maybe have a better experience, what you could do if you don't know what dev the device that you will be connecting with, if it supports 5 gigahertz or not, you could turn it on. And the only difference is if that the device does not support Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz band, then when you enable your hotspot on this device, uh, the other one just simply will not be able to see the created Wi-Fi. Uh, and when you switch it back to 2.4, it will automatically pop up in your Wi-Fi list. So that's one way that you can figure out if the device that you will be trying to utilize this with supports it or not. And that's really the only two options that I recommend changing. Um, I'm going to select OK to save it. Under more settings, we also had the uh, hotspot auto, uh, auto off which automatically turns off the hotspot after 10 minutes of uh, no devices being connected to it. It's a good option to have enabled just because hotspot will consume more of your phone's battery and when you're not using it and forget to turn it off, the device will do it for you. And also has a support Wi-Fi 6 standard, so and this will basically give some other devices, uh, even the newer than the ones that supported 5, uh, give the option to utilize the Wi-Fi 6. And this is enabled by default, I believe it will cons consume more of your phone's battery, so uh, if if you don't want to utilize this uh, because it's not really a great like addition you can turn it off and truly you don't really need it it's not that big of a difference so yeah now now that everything is set up we can close the settings right here we don't need to check anything else and let's find the toggle once more go on top on it as you can see it turns blue and it's now enabled and we can connect to our hotspot with our other devices so with this being said, uh, once you enable it and you're done using it, you could wait for the device to actually turn it off for you after the 10 or whatever timer you set up, minutes of inactivity. 
or you can just find the toggle once more, tap on it to disable it yourself. So there we go. Now with that being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.